Today we drove over 440 miles. We did that on a single charge of just 60 kilowatt hours. Copy. Today marks a huge milestone for us, of which we're very proud. So the Lightyear One is a long range solar car. So it has a lot of range on the battery, but at the same time, it recharges itself through the solar panel. So you won't have to find the charging points for months. For the last five years, we've been building technology that gets us to this extreme levels of efficiency. And today was the first day that we can really test this out on a full battery charge. We drove over 440 miles. We did that on a single charge of just 60 kilowatt hours. The core thing that enables this is the most important metric for any EV, and that is efficiency. So the energy consumption per kilometer. And if you bring that down, you can provide a lot of range on a small battery, but at the same time, with a solar panel that brings in the energy, you can drive very far. This has another advantage. Driving with small battery packs that get to long range means that you can build affordable cars because batteries are expensive. And the reason why we are so proud today is that the technology that we developed in the last five years, like the most efficient inverters on the planet, the most efficient inward motors, but also the most efficient solar panels, all contribute together to get to this achievement. What is especially exciting is that this achievement is exactly in line with the prediction we did using our vehicle performance model. Since this prototype has just been driving for a week, we expect that we can still improve quite a lot on what we achieved today. So for us, this is only the beginning. We believe that by the end of the decade, people will not think about charging on range anymore. The energy will just be there. This is our uh, validation prototype. Um, with this vehicle, we want to test and demonstrate the technological capabilities of Lightyear One. Uh, we want to show that what we say for years is actually possible in the real world and not only on paper. We focused on the technological aspect and not so much on the aesthetics. So we took the opportunity to design something that highlights the counterpart of the technical aspect of the car. So give it a little more emotion. We came up with the idea to literally show the power of light in a really simple but tangible way. We applied the effect of glow in the dark. This means that in light, the surface charges and when it gets dark, it starts to visibly release the energy it retains. So it's a simple concept, but I think it perfectly illustrates the essence of a solar car. We didn't want to design the pattern but generate it just like they seem to spontaneously arise in nature. So for instance, think of meandering rivers or surface textures like your skin or leaves, clouds in the sky, or cracked sand in deserts, uh, ripples on waters. We used an algorithmic simulation of these natural processes called differential line growth to generate a pattern. And in some way, if you look at it, I think it sort of touches nature, right? To me, it reminds me of deep sea coral. And I heard others say it looks like snake skin or animal skin in a way. I think the biggest compliment we got was from someone who considered it a conceptual piece of contemporary art. And I also heard someone say that it reminds of a Keith Haring painting. 
so which is really nice, I think. 